Howdy. Uh, so today we're doing, well I'm doing, some cladding on the pod. Trying not to break these going through the shed. Uh, so I've made a bit of a start. I've done, what's that, six so far. It's going all right. A bit slow because it's only just me. Um, sorry, I'm just concentrating. There we go. So you can see it. So yeah, it's, it's looking all right. Um, we haven't quite finished the breather membrane on the top yet, mainly because I can't get up on, on my own. <laughs> but we've got the light again, as you can see. All the plugs are there. They haven't been fitted yet because we're going to wait until we do the interior. The electrician came up, uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, so that's all good. Um, I got these little, well, uh, templates, I guess they're called. Um, so I know the exact like width, the exact overlay for the next uh, plank. Um, there's two of these. I'm using the nail gun, the puzzle impulse, and that runs off little um, gas bottles, you know, propane, and the battery. Uh, it's a bit of a state in here, but just working on the outside at the moment. Um, yeah, got the little saw here, the D-Wolf, the DW743, if anyone has one of them. And yep, yeah, I'll carry on. Got my tunes banging, because it's pretty, pretty boring on my own like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you shortly. I just dropped the new plank on, and um, but because the joins are every 600 mil, so you'll see one there, uh, one here, and there's another one here. Um, I'm going to cut it, uh, well, about here. Because I, I don't want to cut it here, because then it'll look a bit messy. So I'm, I'd be cutting them all down here, and if I get the tape, if I can find it. <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah, it's about 120 mil, obviously. And I'll just cut this and be on my way. That's my chalk. Just a rough line. I mean, the blade's square anyway, so. Yeah, that's not the neatest. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll get it cut and show you, well, from there. <laughs> right here, uh, so I've got the puzzle here. That's all cut. You'll see it won't line up because this one, this below one, was actually off a little bit, so I had to angle that nail in at, like a diagonal to get it into the, the membrane there. Um, so if I, I I'm sorry, do this. I really need a tripod or something. So I I do it about two inches from the top. Like some I've seen on Google and places people can do it from two inches from the bottom, but they're just so inch uh, so so thin. Sorry. So they crack if I do it any lower. And I mean, this has been working for me, so here we go. So yeah, sometimes it doesn't work like them. Oh, oh it slipped. There you go. Let's see how many I can do 100. It's so much easier than a hammer and a nail. I'm sort of, uh, I can see the middle because where these staples are, see all the way up, so it's, and you can feel it as well, so it's about there, and to it, sort of ache in my hand now, right. and there we go, it's easy enough, just Go straight in. Happy days. So now I'll cut a, cut this piece off the end. Um, you you can see where we've gone over the end because we're gonna have decking down here, and it's also uh, when the rain comes because these boards are actually flush. They're four point eight meters. Uh, yeah, it it'll just seep seep through the gap here and and fall down the face of here, if that makes sense. And we've done the same round the back here. I think that's about 40 mil. 
just overhang. We'll go up. This is a guide, but I, I need to nail another plank on. I haven't got around to it yet. Probably just guesstimated, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll carry on and hopefully get somewhere halfway uh, when you next see it. Righty. Um, well, the pass load has stopped working for some reason. Uh, it's probably out of gas. I mean, I, I did check it, but I think it just needs lubricating or something. So in the meantime, I'm up on the roof, balancing precariously on my knees, on the side of here. Probably not a good idea. Uh, got the man basket. I mean, I need to climb up one. And um, yeah, so I've just been stapling this on. Um, I need to tense it up from the other side, this side down here, but just uh, working with a staple gun. Of a stapler. Ooh, <laughs> it's bloody wobbly. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to film me doing this because I'm more than likely to fall off here. Uh, there's a bit of glare on the camera, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, I've got about halfway up with the, um, the wood, the feather edging. So that's not too bad. Took me about two hours getting to there, so I guess there's another four to finish the outside. So yeah, not, not bad going. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll catch up in a, in a minute. Alright, uh, so it's another day. Um, it's almost night time. And uh, yeah, turns out the pass load wasn't the best tool. Because they're a bit thin. And uh, ignore what I said in the previous clips where nailing them at the top was the best place. Because uh, it isn't. <laughs> um, oh yeah, uh, and it also turns out that Using a hammer and nail the old way is, is best. You can see the puzzle just splitting all. Not ideal. And it turns out I was also using the wrong nails. So don't do what I did. <laughs> um, so here are the other nails I've been using. You can find the bucket. They're actually called roofing nails or fencing nails. I know. Yeah, I'm kicking myself in my foot a bit. There. Um, here you go, we're a bit thinner and then not fired out of the propane gun. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've had to put, well, I thought, but because I've already done one at the top, put one at the bottom and keep it in order like that. So yeah, um, almost up to the top on this side. It's looking quite good, I think. Um, better than I thought it'd come out, <laughs> especially after the mess the, the gun was using. As you can see, there's quite a bad one. Oh no, I did that with a um, with a normal hammer, just on a knot. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great. But other than that, it's looking all right. Trying to get out the dark a bit. We've got the lights on. Um, so it's almost halfway. We're we're not sure what we'll put on the top yet. We're thinking either a piece of roofing tin or zinc. Zinc might look good, or even just some lead. If we have any kicking about, but I'm, I'm leaning towards the zinc option, just because it looks different. I don't know many pods with zinc on the roof. Um, I need to come down here with a saw, as you can see, keep it flush. It's not looking too bad. Um, so yeah, there you go. I think tomorrow, after work, like I'll get to the top, stop like to the right of the, the spire a bit. Uh, then start from this side. Um, it's not too bad going when working on your own. I mean, to start with, it was a right pain trying to get the first one lined up, but after that, it's all right. So, yeah, um, let me know what you think so far. Got any suggestions? Uh, I'd be more than happy to, um, well, to do them, to be honest. Um, yeah dark in there. Hopefully the lights will be all set up in a couple of weeks. I mean they're installed but we don't have any supply to them yet. And we're also looking at getting a solar panel or ceramic, like an 800 pound one. Not sure what wattage yet, maybe two kilowatt or something. Um, just to do the odd cup of tea and the lighting really. We're not going to have a mini fridge or anything like that. It's just a microwave which will be the biggest draw. Like we do have a supply down there, but we don't think it'll be big enough. 
So yeah, a microwave, a kettle, and three plugs. And the lighting's lighting. Keep it simple. And there we go. Uh, so you, well, I hope you enjoyed the video because I didn't to start with, like. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Hopefully, get more done.